Ready? Yep. Okay, guys, we're at um, Tauranga Military Show. Um, this is Sunday morning at around about 10 o'clock. And um, just have a quick spin around and this is what we do. Okay, yeah, this is, um, there's only two military dealers that do what I do and I'm one of them. But um, we've got six tables here. Um, in here we've got some of the really nice German daggers. We've got an SA dagger and a German army dagger, hair dagger. A um, couple of cats, Padres, New Zealand World War II hat and a, a Japanese World War II hat here. Um, over here we've just got, you know, mostly junky items but mostly all World War II and sort of era and World War I era. A few Vietnam shovels. Um, New Zealand mounted rifles hat. A couple of um, Hoshkiss rounds, six inch and a three, a three, a three pound. Sorry. Yeah. Um, here we've got a, a bit of armour I picked up yesterday and I bought yesterday. This dates around um, 1700, and this is um, quite old, which is over 300 years old. And a, a Scottish Scottish sword that's around a 200 years old, but I quite like those as well. Bit of uh, tree chart that was done in 1917. Over here we've got a Japanese naval hat that comes with the original box from World War II. A very nice little item. We've got um, 800 bucks on that, but that's just a little bit of an idea. It's all well stamped, marked, and uh, marked in the side of the hat. In pretty good condition for its age. Over here we've got a selection of badges which I've, I've just put out on badge boards and everything. And here we've got a few, um, a few other medals. You know, German medals and Kiwi medals. A couple of German belt buckles and SS belt buckle, a couple of gorgets. Yep, we'll move over to the other one. Um, just a selection of bayonets. We've got what, about, um, I don't know, about 70 bayonets in here. All countries, New Zealand to um, American to Japanese to you name it, they're all in there. Starting to get collectible because we're getting hard to get them into the country at the moment. Another bit of a mixture of stuff in here. They haven't folded it up completely. Got a couple of grenades in here and some more German belt buckles and uh, Kiwi matchbox cases in here. Um, they're quite cool to collect. A couple of pictures and ammo. Over here we've got a nice uh, infantry officer's jacket, World War II. I've just bought this in the last couple of weeks. This is really stunning, not one bit of moth hole in it. Just come out of a collection that's been in for 30 years. Um, also with this helmet, absolutely mint liner in this. Um, reproduction chin strap, but uh, beautiful liner. You wouldn't, you wouldn't find better in the way of liners. It's got the guy's name on it and well stamped in the shell as well. That's just a minty. Move over to the swords. I probably sell more swords than anyone in the country, and this is a mid, uh, mixture of swords that we've got at the show. And these are all um, these are all pretty well over 100 years old. Some of them are around 300 to you know around years old. But some really nice swords in here. Yeah, over here um, we've got Barry O'Sullivan's new book and that's um, New Zealand Dress Regulations 1852 to 1909 this has only been released about a, a month ago and this has got all the information we need on um, New Zealand uniforms that were early he wrote the two other books uh, personal equipment New Zealand personal equipment and um, uniforms these I find is the best reference books you can get anywhere in the world and um, really worth keep getting. We always got to have stuff for the kids, so we've got um, shells at 10 cents each, um, just old um, cases, so that's, you know, you always got to have something for kids. And 50 cows at 10 bucks each just for um, kids, you know, and, you know, just hopefully to start them off collecting. This one we've got, a, um, this is a backplate armour, 
this was probably about um, about uh, around the 1800s, 18, 18th century. So this is only about 150 years old. Up here we've got another um, nice original German helmet with a very nice clear eagle. Um, it's quite a nice lid. They've come out of a collection about 30 years as well. Uh, got a couple other German helmets and yeah, just a mixture of stuff around here. Yeah, coming over to um, here, just you know, bits and pieces. And uh, <coughs> what's this called? A beef eaters uniform from um, England. So a complete uniform here, and a uh, couple of um, Marines. This one's probably Vietnam, and uh, the other one under it is pretty well Vietnam. So um, and my little sign. Yeah, that's about it. We'll just walk out here just for a quick second. Yeah, follow me. Well, just before we close it off, this is just the entrance way into the, the gun show. Just another view of the gun show if you want to spin it around. And hopefully we get a few people in today and hopefully they open their wallets up. Spin around on that uniform. Yeah, that's my uniform. I brought it over here. He's on guard and he's looking after all the people, make sure they're all keep nice and honest when they come into the show. Yeah, but I bought him from um, the shop. But uh, the only thing we're selling off him on the sword, but all that gear is all um, belongs to New Zealanders and it's all dated and everything. Um, some nice webbing on that that's been in my collection for about 20 odd years. And the lemon squeezer is one of the best ones I've ever, ever owned. That's like brand new like straight out of the box, but really, really nice. Okay guys, thank you very much. Uh, that's the end of the show, but just a quick view of what we do in New Zealand. Thank you. Yeah.